guys, what's going on? It's Dave, Mr. White LS1. Thank you for joining me tonight in the carburetorsuck.com garage. I appreciate it. It's uh, December 28th, and I wanted to get out here and wish you guys a Merry Christmas. The whole month of December has basically kind of been a blur. It uh, We've just been like working hard and trying to get stuff done and uh, trying to give the little man a good Christmas and, you know, with the nieces and nephews and family and blah, 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 and this and that, and I think you guys can understand so I haven't really been able to do much. Let me fix this camera here. Um, I I haven't even touched the truck. I haven't touched the trailer. I haven't really done. The only thing I did was winterize it. Um, that's really it on the trailer. I guess I could have done a video about winterizing the trailer. But I've been kind of, I guess, video lazy lately. I haven't been taking my camera out as much as I as I should. But, uh, but I'm going to get back into it here. I've just, uh, just kind of, I don't know. It was just a December to... We were just working and it was crazy. So that's all I got to say. But I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I hope that you guys had a great Christmas and a happy holiday and whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope that uh, you guys had a good one and uh, hope that, uh, you know, your kids and your family and everything um, were blessed this year. And uh, that is what I hope because uh, you guys are awesome. So what do we got going on today? I, I had to get out here. I had to do something. I seen uh, I had a, <laughs> a comment from... Uh, who is it? Let's see, from Joe Harwick. He said, no more YouTube videos. It's been a while, and it has been a while. It's probably been a little bit too long. So I've got a couple of, I got a bunch of questions, and I've, I got some stuff on Facebook and some stuff on comments on the YouTube vids and stuff like that that I've, I've answered a couple of them and some of them that I haven't really answered. So I'm going to try to go over some of them today. And I also got, I got a, a letter here from... Uh, Farm Boy 30117. And let's open this up. See what we got going down here. It's got coffee on it because I spilled it. It's been in the truck, so it's been a while. So he said, Hey Dave, here's another sticker from my other channel, Jay. And yeah, awesome. Look at that. So Farm Boy's Garage on YouTube. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. So he's got all kinds of, he's doing all kinds of videos and, uh, automotive repair videos and stuff like that so he's a uh, pretty detailed he really knows his stuff so check him out i'm sure most of you guys have and uh, i'm gonna put this sticker up on the fridge once we get done talking about whatever it is we're talking about today that's it all right so let's see here what do i got going on uh let's see here boom 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 uh brian davis he says uh he's been asking me a couple questions he says, also, I was uh, looking at the forums about the fuel system. I wanted to run the saddlebag tank, so this is on a square body. Um, I know I will have to buy a switch and selector valve from an 87 along with the wiring, which is cool, excuse me, because LMC truck has them. But will the 87 fuel pump pump enough fuel? I looked online, and some say between 12 to 60 PSI. Um, and that's for a TPI three. So it's not the stock one is not going to have enough pressure. I think a, I think a stock throttle body is like, what is it? I think it's like twelve or something. I don't know. It's something small. So there is a fuel pump that you can run, and uh, I think it's God, I'm trying to think of it. it's a Delco pump. Let me. I'm going to find it right now for you. I think I got it saved on my wish list on Summit because. Is going to be the one that I'm going to run. So let's see here. And so what you can do while I'm looking this up, I guess I'll explain it. But I guess what most people do is they'll they'll get like just the the TPI sender um, or TBI, sorry, the TBI sender, and then they take the pump out and then they replace it with this pump. So let me go to my wish list. Yeah, it looks like it's a EP381, EP381, and that is. Uh, the, that's the high pressure deal, and that's in. Uh, let's see what it says here. In look it up here. So if you just type EP381, it's showing a part number of 2516-3473. So I think that's the AC. That's the, the Chevy number. All right. So the Happy Builder, he says, I just changed the filter slash fluid slash gasket on my K20s TH400, and now it makes a spinning noise when it goes into drive gears and the truck doesn't go anywhere. 
have you ever encountered this issue with the TH400? So I think some of you guys might be able to chime in on this. Maybe we can help the HAP builder out. I'm not sure if he got his problem taken care of or not. Uh, sounds like maybe he has improper fluid levels or maybe that old fluid was holding things together and now things aren't right. But typically I think, you know, it would if the old fluid was out of there, maybe it'd slip a little bit, but, but not really like make noise like that. So what do you guys think? That's, that's my thoughts on it. Darnell Jenkins, he asked, uh, where'd you get the flanges for the headers? Just got some for the 92 Silverado LQ4. So the headers he's referring to are the headers that I put on the K10 and they're the Schoenfeld LS1 swap headers. And I just, I, they're just some three inch, uh, three bolt flanges and I got them from a local exhaust shop. You can get them, you know, Summit, stuff like that. Uh, they're just mild steel, weld easy. Uh, that's where I got mine from. So that's all I got right now as far as uh, questions and answers. Um, I'm sure that I got more. Um, but yeah, so I just want to kind of run through a couple of them. I am going to put, I'm going to slap a video in here. So a while ago on the K10, I did a light upgrade. And so I'm, I'm kind of going to talk about it a little bit before I go into the video because I'm not quite sure in the video if I like discussed it well enough. But I wanted some brighter headlights in the K10. And so you, you realize, you, if you remember, the K10 just has the single, the single beam. And uh, I'm trying to think of the... I'm trying to think of the size, but anyways, they're like the they're like that big, and they're they're like the same ones they put in the Jeeps and stuff like that. And so, I I ended up ordering this Hella kit, and it replaced the sealed beam with uh, like you know just the the glass, the hardware, and then you put the bulb in the back, and then you plug it in. So it's the same plug that the sealed beam uses but you just use, and I think it's an H4 anyways, but it, you use the different bulb. And so you can get different bulbs, like you can get higher rated bulbs and stuff like that. You can even like convert these to, uh, and I don't think you're supposed to convert these, but I mean, I people have converted them to uh, like HIDs, which you know, I'm not gonna do. I'm, if I did, I'd order like a nice HID kit with the right you know, lenses and everything. But anyways, they're glass and they look good. And what I ended up doing is I, all of the wiring to the plug, I upgraded, I ran through relays, and that way it's not, none, none of the wiring is coming through the switch. Everything is coming just straight from the battery. So basically I have two relays. I've got, if you remember my big fuse box panel, um, so I've got two direct uh, 12 gauge wires coming over into each relay, and then the relays come out and one feeds highs and one feeds lows. So I had originally bought, before I did this, I went and bought those Sylvania, I think they're the Silver Stars, um, just the sealed beam, and I put them in there. And with the wiring upgrade and that, I had pretty decent output, but you know, I mean, it's nothing. You know, like, I think the problem is, is the new car that I have, the like the, the Tahoe and then now the Suburban, they have those LED lights, those, I don't know, with the projection or what, and they're so damn good. You know, even my Camaro had them too, and it's like, they're so bright, like, <laughs> like you get into an old car and you're like, goodness, I can't see nothing. Now, right, let me adjust you up here. Hopefully, we're looking at the fridge here. Okay, so I've got my sticker, which you can't really see that. I need to put a different color sticker on there, really. So I've cleaned this off. I think somebody else was going to send me a sticker, and I haven't checked my P.O. box in a few weeks. So anyways, if you guys want to send me a sticker, you can, and then I'll talk about your channel a little bit. Maybe I'll watch some of your videos or whatnot, or if I already have, then uh, that would be even better. So uh, P.O. Box 751934, and that's Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. So Farm Boys action here. I'm going to put him... I think I'll put him right next to his sticker, and then that'll fill up my top row, and then we're looking to to get more down there, and yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing this sticker thing that long. Nobody's ever wanted to send me a sticker. I feel sad. Anyways, get this off of here. All right, farm boy. Yeah, oh. Let's see if we can get you straight there. Yeah. Awesome. What state is that? Georgia. All right, Georgia. It's not Arkansas, right? No, it's Georgia. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you guys here, and I want to say to you guys, 
I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And uh, my question of the week for you is, uh, what was your what was your giving story this year? What'd you do to help somebody out? You know what I mean? Tell me if you guys uh, were able to help somebody. And I know that you can't, so don't feel bad if you can't. Like, you know, for many years, like, I was in a position where, like, I couldn't help nobody. You know what I mean? But now that, I don't know, like, it's really weird. Like, now that I, I'm in a position to where I can, I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but it's like, you know, like, I try to help as many kids as I can. So let me know about your story. Um, what you did this year, if you helped out, you know, some children or a family or whoever, you know, whatever it is, just uh, if you care to share it, um, I'll share it with the folks. And I know it's not car related, but hey, it's holiday related, so it's all good. But anyway, so I'm going to roll you into this video of me doing some uh, light work on the K10. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's an older video, but I never posted it. And uh, I was talking to somebody and said that I'm going to probably post it. So I am. So you guys take care. I will catch you guys before next week. So I'm going to try to do a video this weekend. And yeah, so we'll get it posted. It'll be awesome. Guys, what's up? This is Dave, Mr. White Ellis One, and thanks for joining me today in the, uh, the kitchen, actually. <laughs> so uh, what I got going on here, let me unbox this stuff here, is uh, in an attempt to make the lighting brighter, on the K10, now you'll remember when the uh, I had the blazer, I updated the wiring, and basically it's the same wiring that's in the K10. So it's upgraded wiring with relays, um, and I put some silver stars in it, but they're really not that bright. And then when I say silver star, I mean the whole complete, you know, the old school sealed beam deal. Now, what I got here is I went ahead and. I've been wanting to upgrade and uh, eventually maybe HID, but for now um, I went with these Hellas and basically they're just the, uh, you know, they're the replacement deal and they're, uh, they're glass and actually pretty good material, but they're not, you know, a complete unit that you have, complete housing that you have to throw away, but instead it'll accept these bulbs. Now it did come with with these guys here, these Hellas, but I heard that they blow out and they're not as bright. So I just said uh, screw it and just went ahead and went with these. So, um, and basically it just accepts the same plug that you have on the back of the lights now, or in my case on that 84K10. So hella housing, um, nice looking housing. Hopefully it'll, you know, my beam pattern uh, will be okay. It's pretty good quality and then it has a nice um, little seal that goes on the back of it as well. So um, as you'll recall a couple weeks ago, a month ago or whatever, I did a, a video where I actually put those new upgraded lights in there. Uh, after I put the core support, took it out for a drive and tested it. And on low beam, it's really, it's like a flashlight. There's really <laughs> not a lot going on there. So the high beams actually work pretty well. They look good. Um, but I'm hoping that these on a low beam will actually be pretty good. So at least it'll get me into the 90s, maybe. And uh, I'll have a decent light, especially with the, the wiring upgrade. Um, should do me good. And then hopefully the high beams are really good. But... Um, just low beam. I don't do a lot of night driving, but uh, when I do, I want to be able to see. So um, that's where I'm at. And uh, I'll uh, get some time later today or tomorrow, um, get out and pop these in. And it should be a pretty easy swap. It's just the housing and then these just snap right in. Same plug. And uh, we should be good to go. So here's our bulb. And uh, you can see it fits in there. And then just clip these. And then they should snap in. So now basically you have kind of the same thing um, but a better bulb and then next time you just buy bulbs and you don't have to replace this whole thing um, and I hope to God it's brighter. So I'll take it out on the same road that I had um, gone a couple weeks ago to test these out um, and uh, we'll uh, do a side by side comparison. All right, so just to talk about this a little bit more, um, you know, you can see if you compare these to the Sylvanias, 
um, you know, the pattern in here is in. Maybe it's the pattern that's going to make the difference. I don't know, but we will see. Um, so basically what I have is um, I've got a dedicated, um, two dedicated lines that come off of my fuse box. And they come out and over. And there's actually three of them. But um, they come to these relays here. And so one relays for the 4x4 lights, one relays for low beam, and one relays for high beam. So everything's getting a dedicated feed. Everything's got new wiring running actually to the lights themselves. And so that video I did a long time ago with a blazer, which is pretty much all the same wiring that I had in there, um, I think I, gained, you know, I picked up like a bolt or something, like a bolt, bolt and a half, but you know, getting rid of that old wiring and running new wiring. So there's proper voltage to it, whether it's going to be brighter or not. We will see. So cruising with these lights here, and uh, I can't really tell right now since this road's lit up pretty well. But uh, we get on this little rural road up here, I think we should be able to see there's a difference. Coming out of the dark neighborhood, it looked they looked sort of better, but we'll see. I'm gonna adjust it. I might adjust this one a little bit. I'm gonna stop here and then I'll do a I'll do like a before and after. I'll put the these side by side. So there's a these this is after swapping to the Hella, the H4s and the Sylvania Silver Star lights. So this is low beam. And there's high beam. High beam is incredible. I, that's really nice. And then there's low beam. So it is. It's a considerable amount. I think better. But like I said, when we put these side by side, we'll be able to. We'll be able to tell. It still looks a little yellow from the light, but maybe it's just the way that the uh, the lens is cut. 